the multitudinous seas incarnadine. What a great line. Hi guys. So in this video, we are doing a quick analysis on one of the most important moments in Macbeth. So it comes in act two, scene two, right after Macbeth kills King Duncan at his own palace. So here's the quote. Whence is that knocking? How is it with me that every noise appalls me? What hands are here? Ha! Huh, they pluck out mine eyes. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? No, this my hand will rather the multitudinous seas incarnadine, making the green one red. So I'll just quickly explain what Macbeth is saying here before we jump into the analysis. So basically Macbeth is asking who's knocking at the door and then immediately he tells himself off for being so jumpy, right? He's saying, what's wrong with me? Oh, I really need to get my act together because now every sound I hear frightens the hell out of me. In fact, whose hands are these? He asks, I can't even tell anymore. I might as well be blind. And so he goes on to then highlight just how guilty he feels, right? By saying, oh, will all the notions on earth wipe the bloodiness off my hand? But of course he knows, no, it's not possible. And in fact, he is so guilty now that his hands are probably bloody enough to dye the ocean red. And so the central motif in this quote is actually the hand, which Macbeth consistently externalizes in this play. So he does this to mentally separate his own agency from the body part that's actually carried out the murder. Because of course it's the hand that's held onto the dagger which killed King Duncan. Now this suggests to us that Macbeth is becoming more and more paranoid by the minute, which is also reflected in his evident lack of composure in this moment. We also see his anxiety in the first rhetorical question, how is it with me when every noise appalls me? But he knows that having committed regicide, there is now no turning back. He has already planted the seed of a haunting conscience. Now the gory imagery of his hands plucking out mine eyes also tells us that he is painfully aware of the blinding and lasting impact of violence to which he is now, ironically, a victim. And as we move into the latter half of this quote, we see even more vivid descriptions. As Macbeth asks in a rhetorical flourish, will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? Now this allusion to the Roman sea god Neptune, who's actually Poseidon in the Greek version, is also ironic because it's Macbeth showing us his powerlessness against the supernatural force right at the moment when he's trying to seize power. And here Macbeth is wondering if none of the waters on the planet can wash away the murderous sin he's just committed. But of course, he knows that the answer is a resolute no, which is why he answers his own question firmly in the negative. And by the way, this technique of asking and answering one's own question is called hypophora. And in this moment, Shakespeare uses hypophora to highlight for us Macbeth's tacit acknowledgement of his own culpability. Now, my final point relates to the wonderfully polysyllabic line, the multitudinous seas incarnadine, which is just a periphrastic way of saying what comes in the next line, making the green one red because the green one here is a metonymic reference to the multitudinous sea. Multitudinous here meaning numerous and vast, and the red reference is also a metonym for bloodshed. So Macbeth here is making a hyperbolic point about his hands being so bloody they can now probably dye the entire ocean red, and it also again goes to show the level of guilt that he feels about what he's done. What's also worth noting here is the juxtaposition of the polysyllabic line, the multitudinous seas incarnadine, and the monosyllabic line, making the green one red. Because it is this lexical contrast that really reveals for us Macbeth's mental instability at this point, as if he sees this need to usher in these lofty words as a way to cover up a lowly action, i.e. murder. And so he does that as a way to distract his audience 
from a sudden fall in nobility. So there you have it guys, just a really quick analysis on one of the most important quotes in Macbeth, especially when it comes to showing us Macbeth's psyche. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel if you want more GCSE A-level or IB English literature, learning tips and study resources going forward. Please also leave me a comment below and let me know what other ideas you have for future Shakespeare videos. And I'll see you guys next time.